Simplified payment verification. It's possible to verify payments without running a full node or full network node. So what exactly is a full network node DM? Glad you guys asked. Okay, a full network node means a computer that downloaded the entire blockchain. Okay, and it's it's like gigs. Like it was like 50 gigs the last time I checked. So it's probably higher now. So it's a lot, a lot of data. So there's a way to verify the payments without actually being a full node, without actually having to download the entire blockchain on your computer. A user only needs to keep a copy of the block headers of the longest proof of work chain, which he can get by querying the network nodes until he's convinced he has the longest chain and obtain the Merkle branch linking the transaction to the to the blocks uh, to the block. It's time stamped in. So remember, remember the block train or block train <laughs> block tree that we talked about. Yeah, you just keep a copy of the longest tree branch and their block headers, and you're pretty good to go. At least that's how I understand this. So you download the Merkle tree and you keep the the longest branch basically and you prune off the rest and you're good to go. He can't check the transaction for himself, but by linking it to a place in the chain, he can see the net see that a network node has accepted it and blocks add after it further confirm the network has accepted it. So basically since your computer can't er, isn't downloading the entire block blockchain tree, right? Entire blockchain, your computer can't validate whether everything is true or not by itself. However, since it downloads the block tree's headers, it can validate the block tree exists and other nodes have done full verification. It's like downloading a picture of a cat, okay? Rather than going out and buying a cat, you don't really know if the cat is real or Photoshop, but you downloaded it from a reputable site, so you think the cat exists, but you really can't check without going to the store. If that makes any sense. So here's what he's saying. Longest proof, block header. So as you can see, you know, go this way. And you keep the Merkle root of the longest proof of work chain. So yeah, transaction three. <laughs> All right, so as such, verification is reliable as long as honest nodes control a network, but it is vulnerable if the network is overpowered by an attacker. So he's saying, this all works if most computers on the network are honest and you know, but it's much more vulnerable if the network is over by, overpowered by some attacker. While the network nodes can verify transactions for themselves, the simplified method can be fooled or the simplified method can be fooled by an attacker's fabricated transaction for as long as the attacker can continue to overpower the network. So if an attacker does manage to fool the network for a while, it's only a matter of time before they run out of power. And as long as they have power, they can fool people who are using simple payment verification rather than being a full node, rather than downloading the entire chain. One strategy to protect against this would be to accept alerts from the network nodes when they detect an invalid block, prompting the user software to download the full block and, you know, and alter transaction to confirm the inconsistency. All right, so one way to get around this is to have is having computers that hold and download the full blockchain alerting the network, and then when your computer so uh, wallet software will automatically download the full tree instead of just the branches of the, of the tree, of the longest chain. The computers that download and hold the entire blockchain are called full nodes again, and because they're full of that blockchain goodness, basically. So what he's saying here is, one strategy is, all right, people who are full nodes, people who have the full blockchain can see, oh, this is wrong. These are invalid transactions. They'll alert the network and your computer pick, uh, software program will pick up on it and be like, all right, cool. These are fakes. I'm just gonna download the entire thing and we're, good, we're gonna good, be good to go because we're gonna double check everything on our own end. Businesses that receive frequent payment will probably still want to run their own nodes for for more independent security and quicker verification. So businesses that receive payments many times a day may also download the full node, maybe may also download the full blockchain to do independent verification.